Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good rest of your week in trading. Uh, down week for us as far as the portfolio go, um, mainly because of our Novavax stock. Uh, did take a dip this week, so um, we're going to talk about that as we look at the portfolio. But I uh, had to expect a little bit of a pullback after last week. It was a really good week. Uh, we did not give it all back, so that's always good when you, when you manage to uh, stay ahead of the game. Uh, even though we're back down for the week uh, as far as portfolio goes. Uh, did make a couple buys. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. No sales this week. Uh, but other than that, just uh, watching the market and uh, watching our portfolio go up and down as it does. So, uh, But let's go ahead and take a look at what happened today in the portfolio and talk about what's happened this past week as well. All right, so let's go over to our portfolio. And here's our portfolio. You can see here, uh, I do have Myrner on top of that today. We did not buy any of that, Moderna. Uh, I sometimes put it on there so I can watch it, uh, as well as uh, the Novavax stock. I'll take that off. Uh, the BTC, B uh, Bitcoin was up today, managing to stay in that uh, uh, 32 to 34 range. So that's pretty much what it's done all week. I'll just go ahead and take a quick look at the five-day chart on that. Uh, I think it did get below the 32 for a minute there, but not anything for any period of time. But uh, as you can see here, let's go with the five-day chart. There's your five-day. As you see here, uh, the low for the week uh, was, uh, let's see here. doesn't really tell us the week here, but you can see the low was right in here somewhere. About right there, so 32. It might have weaked down further than that, but uh, I know it was pretty close to 30, a little bit below 32, I think. But it may not have been getting that low, but uh, still 32, as you can see here, you know, 34, 35 range. That's where it's that's where it's been trading for a while now. So uh, take a look at the month. You can see it's been in this range for a little while, all the way back to June. 21st or so so just kind of doing this thing there we'll see which way it goes uh, eventually it will try to move out of that one way or another uh, and it will impact a couple of our stocks as it does that uh, one being hut that's a uh, hut mining today hut was up almost all day long uh, a very good day for it and then it just sold off towards the end of the day uh, so Bitcoin did pull back a little bit, so that one did too. Uh, for the week, uh, it did have an up week, though. You can see here a little bit, a little bit up. So uh, probably percentage-wise, not too bad. About 30 cents there almost, so not bad. Did have a really good start uh, on Tuesday, and then it kind of just sold off the rest of the week. All right, so that's Hut Mining. It's a Bitcoin miner. And our other Bitcoin play is MSTR Micro Strategies. And uh, did have a pretty good day today. It was green. Uh, didn't get much higher than that. It got up to uh, uh, $6.35, about $7 higher at one time. And that would have been right in here, I would think. So, uh, yeah, and then it kind of sold off towards the end of the day there as Bitcoin pulled back. Uh, for the week, that one was down. So, that one also has impacted our portfolio for the week because it's one of our uh, larger stakes uh, as far as that goes. Um, I was watching one of my shows last night. It says for every 87 and a half shares you own of this, it would equal one Bitcoin. So uh, you can think about it if you're holding any of this, uh, if you happen to have 80 90, 80, 90 shares of it, you've probably got a Bitcoin's worth. So. Uh, but that was interesting when I watched last night. And uh, so today was a good day, but it has not been a good week for that one, which uh, impacted our portfolio uh, somewhat. Now here's the one that's really impacted our portfolio, and it did close red today, even though uh, it did manage to pop into the green just a tad a couple times today. Uh, one of them probably being right here. But uh, it did... Uh, only lose half a percent, but let's take a look at this five-day chart. Here's where it fell off the cliff the other day. And what happened, uh, the rumor was that um, 
the uh, manager or, or the CEO actually sold some of his stocks, but he, really what it was was stock options. And, uh, you know, he took advantage of his options, something that was pre-planned, uh, but uh, the market did take advantage of that and knocked uh, our Novavax all the way down. Uh, you can see here uh, all the way down as far as low, low of the week was right here, probably about 182. Uh, this is the one we did buy, though. We had, we had sold some in our cash account recently, and so that was a pretty good timing on that sale. I wished I'd sold it all now, and then I could have got, got back in, but it was, you know, not too many shares, uh, uh, maybe, maybe a third of them or so. Uh, so we did buy back into it as it dropped, uh, bought back in at 203, somewhere right in here, close to this bottom right in here, 203, and then uh, we bought in next, uh, that was on the 7th, and then on the 8th we bought in at 192. So uh, did manage to get some cheaper shares, and so built a, the share count back up a little bit, not not the full amount that I had sold out, so uh uh, wanted to use some of that cash from some, for some other things, so, but we did get some cheaper shares back, and that's that's good as far as that goes. But uh, it did hurt our our portfolio for the week because uh, we were, you know, started out the week at two fourteen. Here we are, uh, twenty six dollars cheaper. So that's uh, that's that doesn't go good as far as the portfolio goes. Uh, still. Nothing to panic about here. This is what we're talking about. We're still waiting on uh, the approvals and uh, the application of approvals. There's going to be two different, uh, you know, news posts. One's going to be, hey, we, we've applied for approval. And I would imagine at some point then you get the approval. So you may have two different reasons for it to pop. And then you've got it for different, different countries. So uh, there's all kinds of possibilities for this quarter. And it is supposed to come this quarter. Last quarter, it was delayed. Uh, those type of announcements were delayed due to some manufacturing issues, which have been resolved. And so now we're waiting for that to come across this quarter. And so they didn't say what what part of the quarter, but they did say it would be this quarter. So we got our fingers crossed on that. Uh, we got our money into it, so we're we're going to count on it. Uh, Tilray, Tilray. Uh, nothing to talk about here. I think it probably just had a, probably a down week. Yep, a little bit of a down week there. So it's kind of slowly bleeding. Uh, not something that we want to see, but it is what it is. And then last but not least, Nikola. Nikola is one of our larger holdings. And uh, so uh, let's see what it did for the week. I don't think it had a very good week either. Nope, same type of week. So a little bit of a sell-off. Right here, that's this is the same day that the, uh, you know, the Novavax sold off. It was it was a bad market day, and uh, so they took advantage to knock down some of these uh, more volatile stocks on those on those type days, and they just held steady the rest of the week. They didn't really uh, get back to where they were, so uh, you know that's what happens sometimes. We just have a little pullback. Expected a little pullback after last week because. It was such a good week for the portfolio, uh, uh, so I was expecting some back, somewhat of a pullback, but a little bit further than I wanted to see. But then again, we held on to a good bit of it, so that's that's always good news when you hold on to the really good weeks, at least part of it. Uh, took a look at the markets and just kind of give you an idea. Uh, we are we're at about twenty five percent cash now in the in the IRAs. Uh, uh, all in on the cash account right now, uh, all in on uh, Novavax and the MSTR. So uh, won't be buying anything else in the cash account. Uh, as far as the performance for the year so far, we're doing good. Uh, the the Dow, S&P, and NAS had some record highs this week where we had record highs last week. So they did uh, pass us for the year as far as uh, percentages. The Dow is up 13.98%, uh, 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 just barely past where we were, uh, so that's good. Uh, S&P is, is the big winner right now. S&P for the year to date is 16.33% uh, up, and then uh, the NASDAQ 14.09%. So no matter where you've got your money in, in, in the market right now, if you, if you had it in there and you've left it in there, uh, you would be doing real good 
sometimes uh, we talk about you know what should I buy, what should when should I sell, but uh, really uh, some of the best things you can do is if you're beginning, uh, you know there's indexes like the Triple Q, QQQ. There's the uh, S and P uh, SPY, SPY that you can put your money in. There's VTI, uh, DIA. Those are all uh, index funds that kind of follow the markets. And so if you had your money in any of those at the beginning of the year, you'd be sitting good right now. So, uh, you know, if you're not a stock trader, you don't want to sit there and try to pick stocks. And it's not the easiest thing to do sometimes, but uh, uh, you can be more successful than those indexes. Uh, there's, there's years that uh, we, we are way more successful, but then there's, a, then there's those years where they do get you. So uh, it just depends. But I enjoy it. It's, a, uh, it's something I've enjoyed. I've been doing since 1999. So uh, that's the reason I still trade individual stocks. But if you just wanted to uh, put your money in something and go to, you know, away from the computer or away from the TV or whatever, uh, you really didn't want to put a whole lot of time in it. Those indexes there are, you know, reflections of the market. So if, if you put your money in something like that, and you know, especially uh, on a cost average basis, just, you know, constantly putting in a certain amount every month or something like that, uh, then over the time, that, those are going to do well. Uh, the trend of the market is up, has been for a long, long time. Doesn't mean you can't run across some bad pullbacks and some bad years, and and all of a sudden, what what you had gets cut in half, uh, and then it may take a year or two sometimes to to get back to that point. But uh, as long as you keep kept your money and you don't sell on those dips, uh, you're going to end up eventually doing well. In the market because the market averages i think anywhere from eight to ten percent and so anybody could stay retired on eight to ten percent but uh, you, you know if you got all your money in the market it could have a terrible pullback and then you'd be uh, up a creek uh, as far as your, your retirement goes that's why it's so important to have other options and uh, also not just other options but uh, you know just spreading money out uh, having cash on hand to live off of to a certain degree, uh, right now we're we're sitting with plenty of cash to live on. For you know, if there was a major pullback, it also gives us an opportunity to jump in and get some bargains. So, those are things to think about. And there's a couple of strategy videos I have. If you want to watch that sometime, that's a good one. Those are good ones to watch about strategy. And of course, everybody's strategy is different, uh, just based off of where you're at in life. And uh, so, my strategy may not be the same as yours. And uh, that's okay because uh, we're not the same people. Uh, and uh, even at the same age limits and those kind of things, you still have different personalities that can deal with market ups and downs and those kind of things. So a whole lot to think about when you're putting your money in the market. But uh, it's better than the banks. I, I mean, you know, and eventually in the long run, it's better than the banks. And the little 2% you get in savings or 1%, whatever it is now, if you get even that. All right. Well, have a great week of trading next week. Uh, we're going to hope uh, Novavax can uh, pull back up. It did manage to close the week over the 185, which has usually been resistance. So that's what we'll be looking for next week to see if it can hold that 185, if it can move up uh, past the 190s and stay there. Uh, I'd like to see it get above 195 and stay there next week. Uh, but the main thing is to hold the 185 So until the news comes out. All right. So have a great week, and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click this button right over here to, to do that, and uh, we'll talk to you later, probably first of the week, and uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.